Uh -huh. Wish we had a better update to report. Neighbors we talked to today are still processing what happened in their typically quiet and be free neighborhood. You may recall it was about 24 hours ago when this frightening attack happened on Adlin Road. A Los Angeles Police Department volunteer officer trying to escape the bees loses his balance. He falls to the pavement. LAPD confirming with us just minutes ago that he remains hospitalized right now and is being treated for stings, multiple stings and a fractured eye socket. He was among some volunteers on scene to assist with traffic control when streets were closed because of the bees. Meanwhile, another man was sent to the hospital with also multiple bee stings. Eventually, that hive, disturbed somehow at a local home, was terminated, wiped out by a local bee removal company. Here's some reaction from neighbors today and an employee who helped clear the scene. So the best decision was kill the bees for the safety of all the people around, the neighbor. Mm -hmm. Because the, the bees were going all over, a block away, they're stinging whatever it moves. I came out and there was a, like, a, I don't know, maybe 200 bees going around, and there's a few that died in the floor. And if you stayed by the window, you could hear the noise like zzz. This was a very scary situation, absolutely. But if you're not allergic to bees, it just felt like the bees were acting like bees. They were defending their they were defending their hive. Los Angeles fire responded to the scene. We're told by neighbors also today, a woman was also stung several times. Many people stung the neighborhood. The bee removal worker says bees don't attack unless provoked. And if you ever find yourself in that situation, experts say the best thing that you can do is run. Do not swat at them, which I can't imagine how difficult that how would be not, not right? to do that mm. right. Uh, to find shelter and then also to call for help.